Hey, I'm Alec, and I'm going to show you how to fix and prevent tangled filament. Having a tangled spool of filament is everybody's worst nightmare. You start a print before you go to bed, you've been printing with that spool for a good time and you're comfortable with it, but when you wake up, you have a failed print and you can very clearly see that there is a knot in your filament. And you might think that's a problem of manufacturing where there is a knot made in it in the factory because it looks like it's in the middle of the spool, but in actuality, it's not possible for that to happen. Think about it this way. Take a piece of string or a piece of filament and hold on to each end. One hand represents the extruder at the factory and the other is the spool that it's being wound onto. It never breaks up, they never cut it, weld it back together and then keep extruding onto a spool. So there's never a break. Now take your either hand and try to make a knot without letting go. You're gonna find it's impossible to do. You just can't loop it over or wind it around itself to make a knot. And that's the reason that the filament is either taped to the spool or put through one of the holes in the side of the spool when you first open it. It's because at the factory they cut it and immediately take the end of the filament and make it secure. And this is to prevent it from unwinding from the tension and tangling. So when you do open your filament, you're going to want to make sure to always hold on to the end of the filament before you do anything to it. So before you clip off the end that's going through the side, like on this spool, or before you undo the tape, or in the case of the master spool, before you undo the zip ties, you just want to make sure that you keep the end secure. Because if you just let it loose and you clip it, all that tension will transfer into it and it will unwind it. And if you're not paying attention, the end of it may go underneath one of the other loops. And while you won't be able to see it, there is a knot that just formed and it's going to get tighter and tighter. And it may not be right away that it actually has an effect on your print. It could be five hours later, 10 hours later, because what it's gonna be doing is just pulling the tension tighter and tighter and maybe it'll slip and it'll push the knot further and keep printing. But at some point, it won't be able to unwind anymore. It will cinch up and your print will fail as the extruder gear just chews away the filament. Now to actually fix it, it's not that hard. You can even fix it in the middle of a print without pausing it or canceling it. What you have to do is to first take the filament and start pulling it over the side of the spool. So you're just gonna take, take it off, give it a little bit of slack and just start uncoiling it. And you're gonna notice that there looks like the filament coming out the spool from three different points and that would mean that there is a tangle. So you're going to want to keep pulling it off until you have what looks like just one strand of filament coming off. And that would make it very clear that the knot has come off of the spool and what you have in a coiled mess on the floor is the knot somewhere in there. And then at that point you can just re-spool it. Being careful to weave the spool in and out of the coils so you don't cinch the filament too tight and it bends and breaks and then you just have a mess of a known amount of filament and then a nice clean spool. Or if you don't care, you can just snip it off, take the end and stick it through a hole in the side. So once you have this filament rewound, that's it. You can keep printing with it. You can continue the prints, unpause the print and just let it go. It's ready to start printing with again. So my cardinal rule with printer filament, whenever we have a new employee, I always make sure that they know to, like I said, maintain the end of the filament. So either it's, through a hole in the side, tape to it, you've got a binder clip, you've printed out some sort of solution to keep it on the side of the spool. That's the only place you should ever have the end of the filament. And that's it. So next time one of your friends says, oh, I had a tangle in the middle of my spool, well, you can poke just a little bit of fun at them and explain that it doesn't quite work like that. So hopefully you don't get any more filament tangles, but if you do, you at least know how to solve it. I'm Alec from Matter Hackers. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all of our videos. And remember, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.